Hello Airsoft community, it's Jake here and I'm going to give you guys a review on the Tactical M4 Viper Assault Rifle made from Black Ops. Um, I bought this gun a few days ago from Walmart, it's like $99.99 I think, and uh, it's, as it says right on the box, it has full metal gears, um, it claims it's a professional grade airsoft, adjustable stock and uh, everything else with it, it has iron sights to it. Gives you a couple features that says um, six it shoots 600 rounds per minute. Um, it comes with a 8.4 volt nunchuck battery. You can upgrade that to a 9.6, but you can't go over 10 volts. Um, if you upgrade to a 9.6, uh, the battery life's of course going to last longer, and uh, the bullets will shoot better. Um, it has an adjustable hop up for BB spin control. Now what this does is, um, for people that are new to airsoft, um, such as myself, is that when you're shooting the gun, the the spin of the BB actually goes lower because it eventually gravity pulls it down. If you adjust it, it actually goes up and the distance lasts longer. Um, it comes with a 300 round metal, metal magazine clip. And as I said before, it comes with um, iron sights. Um, in a minute I'll show you what mine is. I already got it unboxed. I'll show you the back of it. Oh, and this is also supposed to be the new and improved edition. I think this is like the second or third uh, edition that they've had for this gun. Um, but yeah, this just gives you an overview of what I just talked about. So I'll show you what the gun looks like. I have a couple of uh, modifications I have to it at the moment. And I'll explain what it is. But this is the... This is the airsoft gun that I have now. Um, the first night I'll tell you about is I got it out of the box and of course I didn't listen to the instructions manual. But what you'll need to do is once you get it out of the box you need to charge the battery or the bullets will not shoot as expected or it won't have enough uh, it, won't, it won't have enough force to go up into the chamber to shoot out. So of course I learned that the hard way, hard way but anyway after I actually charged the battery um, I mean it it's actually really impressive for just a hundred dollars I was looking online and uh, people were saying about there's it's basically like a beginner type of airsoft uh, what I like about it the most is like it, it's it's as heavy as a real gun like it's it, like like the box says a lot of its metal not all of its metal like this buckstock buttstock uh, most of this in the middle is metal all the gears on the inside is metal so is this front part as well um, now the modifications I did to it is I took the iron sights off and I actually have a red dot on it that has different uh, uh, colors to it and stuff as well and I also added a laser and flashlight on the bottom of it um, but I'll talk about those in the next review. Uh, so about the gun, uh, oh, here's the batteries itself, shooting batteries. Um, about the gun, like I said, it shoots real good. Um, I haven't had no jams at all with it. Um, so it's, it's actually keeping up to its expectations. Uh, the only thing that I really don't like about this gun too much is when you put the ammo in this clip, which Put it in through, you probably can't see it that well. We put it in through there. Um, is there's this bottom part that you have to keep twisting, and you keep doing that until you hear a different clicking noise. What that does is it charges this whole clip up for you. So whenever you're shooting it, and uh, all the BBs will actually go from this bottom where it has enough uh, force to go up into this and shoot out of the chamber. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you uh, what it's like when it's being shot. One. And today we have Jake. Just showing you guys a couple things about his gun, giving you a review on it. Alright, well, from the first part of the video, I already showed you the uh, aspects of it and gave you a little rundown on it. Now this part, I'm going to show you how accurate this thing is. With 20 grain. Yeah, 20 grain. The 12 grain sucks. I don't, don't shoot 12 grain out of here. I just bought like a case of it and it don't work at all. So they have the two features, the safe, semi-auto, and the auto. I'm going to do a few shots out of the semi-auto, and then I'm going to go to auto. So. Okay. 
that's that's some shots out of the uh, semi. And as you can see, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty consistent. So now with the fully auto. I, I strongly recommend this gun to beginners. I'm a beginner myself, and uh, I love this weapon. Hopefully in the future we'll make it to the part where we're not beginners. <laughs> but, as you can see, that was fairly accurate. For just with Jake's additional hands. attachments, of course. And my tiny hands. And those tiny hands. <laughs>